Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about uh, one of the dangerous type of viruses that we always deal with and that is the retro type of virus or retroviruses. And uh, one of the dangerous type of disease causing agents are belonging to this part of virus like HIV uh, for example. So let us talk about the retroviral retroviral uh, replication. Majorly we'll be talking about the replication. So it's retrovirus replication strategies. So normally retroviruses are RNA containing virus. So they are having RNA as their genetic material. So they are single stranded RNA inside the retrovirus. So if I draw the retrovirus here, so if this is the retrovirus for example, and it is obviously this is enveloped virus. So this outer membrane is enveloped. So this is the envelope and in, in the envelope, through the envelope there are certain uh, molecules coming out like this and at the end let's color it different like that and this, these are the different molecules, these are the different uh, molecules that are coming out throughout this membrane of retroviruses and these molecules are nothing but different type of glycoproteins and these are receptor like molecules that are coming out from the envelope. And inside this envelope there are capsid and inside the capsids there is some important feature. So so inside the capsule, let me draw the capsid here. Capsid, uh, let me draw the capsid similarly like, like this round shape because it is easy to draw. And inside the capsid there is uh, the RNA as the genetic material. So here comes the RNA. Two strands of RNA are present. So two single stranded RNA is there. So here comes one this is another so two RNA are there and along with the two RNA there are also some self protein components carried by retroviruses and those are three important proteins so let me write about those proteins so here comes the three important proteins this is the green one one uh, so first type of protein which is a polymerase type it is called a retro uh, it's a reverse transcriptase enzyme right so let me write it it is a so reverse reverse transcriptase is the enzyme that they carry okay they also carry another enzyme which is called integrase so let me draw the integrase here so let's say this this orange color this thing is integrase which is required to integrate their genome inside the host cell genome because the actual machinery of retroviral life cycle is to integrate their own genome inside the host genome or host DNA for, for further and to stay there for long period of time and express proteins using the promoter of host genome right so that's the actual strategy of retroviruses so that's for that purpose they require this integrase enzyme integrase and they also have another enzyme uh, let's draw that one here also so that, that another enzyme here this yellow color thing this is the protease we know the function of protease. Protease can degrade protein molecules. Protease is the enzyme here. Can degrade protein molecules pretty easily. And this protease is required to produce the structural and capsid proteins for retroviruses. Right? So this is the kind of structure of retrovirus, if I'm not wrong. And and this outer membrane proteins, these are the glycoproteins. And this outer membrane glycoproteins there are uh, so they are called GP type of proteins or glycoproteins. So among them two important glycoproteins are there one is GP41 another one is GP120 so let me write the names here so this this thing is this this topmost thing is GP120 and these green things are GP41 right so these things are required there for for the active infection for the attachment of this uh, virus to the host cell and engulfment inside the host cell because it is enveloped, the normal interaction between this virus and the host cell is mediated by the receptor mediated endocytosis pathway. So let's begin with that. Let's begin begin with. So this is the surface of the cell. So let's first talk about the internalization, which is a very very vital step. So for the inter internalization, let's say this is the cell membrane of the host cell, and here comes a virus particle. The virus particle will come. And this virus particle with the help of this GP41 and GP120, the first kind of interaction of this virus with, with the host cell attached by the GP120 and it plays a vital role there. 
And normally what we know that this retroviruses, if we take HIV as an example, so let's take HIV as an example in this case. So they target normally T4 cells or T lymphocyte cells of our immune system, right? So these T4 cells are having receptors onto their surface. What kind of receptor? Those receptors can be CCR4 or CXCR5. Uh, sorry, CCR5 or CXCR4, it's kind of. So it's, say, let's say this is CCR5. This is the na name of the receptor. Or it can be CXCR4. These are the different name of the receptors that can be found onto the surface of T lymphocytes of our eukaryotic cells. Now here comes the virus and the virus interacts with this particular, so they interacts with it via GP120. So here comes the interaction using GP120 with CCR5. Now once this interaction is there, once GP120, once this GP120 is attached with this CCR5 or CXCR4, it triggers a conformational shift there. As a result of this conformational shift, this GP41, which is kind of folded inside this, uh, this virion or inside this viral envelope, start to open. So once this, this start to open up, so let me draw it again. So it, this is the virus and now this GP start to open up. So GP molecules start to open and engulf inside the host cell membrane now because this this last part this terminal part of this GP uh, GP41 are hydrophobic so it was previously embedded there in the envelope membrane but now it is released and engulfed or embedded inside the host cell membrane so then they will pull they will pull this from this two sides so that this virion particle is now fused with the membrane so what it will look like once they are pulling them they will look something like that, it will be fused there and then all of the necessary uh, materials that is uh, genetic materials and also all this, uh, all of these protein uh, molecules or enzymes will be released inside the cytoplasm. So everything now is released inside the cytoplasm. So inside the cytoplasm we will be having the mRNA, the copy of mRNA, this is again, okay, along with this mRNA what we'll be having, we are also having uh, enzymes, we are also having this, uh, let's say this, this three enzymes, so let, let us draw these enzymes, here comes one enzyme, uh, here comes the yellow one, and this green one, right, so we are having these three different important enzymes, I remind you the name of the enzymes, uh, this is reverse transcriptase, this, this yellow one is protease and this uh, orange one is integrase right so these three enzymes are also released so once everything is released in the cytoplasm of this host cell then what they will do they are only having mRNA in their hand right so they need to produce a DNA from the mRNA and why so because they need to integrate their DNA section or their DNA into the host cell genome and what we know that inside the host cell the genome is obviously DNA, it's not RNA as a genetic material. So they, they definitely need to produce something which uh, can be embedded into the host cell genome. And this embedding is possible if they only convert their mRNA into the DNA. So for that purpose, they need to produce a DNA out of mRNA. And that process called reverse transcription, right? So they go through the process of reverse transcription. And for this process, they require the enzyme reverse transcriptase. So now here we go, here comes the mRNA and they take mRNA as a template, they produce the first strand of their DNA using the reverse transcriptase enzyme and this reverse transcriptase enzyme is having two important sections for two important functionality. One section is responsible for, for, uh, for the polymerization and the second uh, part is responsible for RNA's H activity or RNA degrading activity. Okay, so here what we can see the single stranded DNA is made using the mRNA as a template. Then they will chew this mRNA strand out. They chew this strand out. So they stand up with only one strand and they take this one strand and they copy this strand. They take this strand as a template and they copy another strand of the DNA. So now previously it is mRNA and DNA hybrid, but now it is DSDNA using the enzyme 
reverse transcriptase remember here comes the enzyme reverse transcriptase which does the job beautifully so once they have produced this DS DNA or double stranded DNA they will take this DNA and they will incorporate this DNA into the host cell genome and this is the second stage of this uh, retrovirus life cycle that is the integration so here comes so first stage is uh, re reverse transcription we have done this properly now the second stage is integration integration for the integration they require another important enzyme which is also coded by the virus and that is the integrase now what is the function of integrase here integrase will go and integrase will cut section from this double stranded DNA just prepared from their 3 prime end and actually it cuts two nucleotides from uh, both this 3 prime end of this newly prepared double stranded DNA after the reverse transcription so here comes the DNA so they will chop a section out of the 3 prime in both this direction so here comes the 3 prime here comes the 3 prime they just delete some certain sections so that they can produce a kind of sticky end in both the terminal right so now this particular thing is done using the enzyme integrase remember we've seen the enzyme before this is the enzyme integrase which is doing the function after this, in, uh, this, this cleaving is done and, uh, and the sticky end is generated then this particular DNA will be taken and it will be taken inside the nucleus of the host cell so let me draw the nucleus here here it is the nucleus of the host cell so let us let us let us draw it yes so this is the nucleus of the host cell then this particular uh, DNA just prepared for the integration will be taken by the integrase because integrase here acts as a carrier so integrase will be binding to it and it will carry this DNA inside the nucleus of the host cell and inside the nucleus there is a host genome so let me draw the host genome here so let's say let's say this is the host genome complicated one and they take this out once they reach this nucleus so they will integrate this genome somewhere in this middle of this host genome so let's say this is a section where they integrate this genome so the integration is done properly once the integration is done properly then they rely on the common host machinery for the replication for the transcription and translation of the viral gene products but, but because now this is the DNA which is carrying the information for synthesizing more important proteins which are structural proteins and also the enzymes like reverse transcriptase, integrase and proteases required for packaging properly and for, for produce a matured fudge particle so once everything is produced so, so, so mRNA is generated from this section so so let me say so here comes the mRNA produced mRNA will be migrated here in the cytoplasm this mRNA will be translated into protein products so many variety large protein pro products are made here now this is a problem because this virus don't want this large protein products now so what viruses do in this case the third important stage and that is the proteolysis proteolysis of the virus so the virus proteolysis is brought about by the enzyme remind you the enzyme here for the virus protease is protease Protease will cleave this section and they will generate small section of this important and necessary proteins for for the virus to make a fudge particle or virus particle. So they will produce these proteins. These are structural proteins and other important proteins. Then these proteins will be there. They will be taken inside and also inside the nucleus this DNA is also taken so everything is now being packaged so so they will also transcribe several RNA so RNA and these proteins will be taken inside the nucleus they will be packaged and finally packaged into a uh, capsid for this virus so capsid is made inside it we are having RNAs and also we are having three different uh, proteins so everything is prepared as a capsid but it is not having the envelope so from where it is getting the envelope it is getting the envelope once it is releasing from the cell because remind you for getting the envelope it needs to transfer through so let me 
complete the nucleus yeah it needs to pass through the nuclear pore and pass through endoplasmic reticulum remind you the endoplasmic reticulum is a network there they need to pass there because inside this endoplasmic reticulum there are different receptor and different molecules start to make for 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 the glycosylation and proteins are synthesized there and also uh, here in this in this endoplasmic reticulum they produces many more glycosylated molecules like gp40 gp120 gp41 and everything is there so once all the molecules are synthesized in this in this uh, endoplasmic reticulum this virus particles will migrate through the endoplasmic reticulum during this process of migration through endoplasmic reticulum it is getting its own envelope and onto the envelope surface you mind you this envelope surface they are having this this proteins this gp120 gp41 this proteins coming out and inside it it is having its own is having its own virus particle that is already prepared and assembled inside the nucleus so now the matured virus is made now it will come out from the host cell and it is ready to infect another healthy host so that is the process of life cycle by retroviruses like hiv and they can stay in this particular phase after this integration for larger or longer period of time depend upon uh, how many days it require to set up the disease and infection it depends on Uh, how many days it requires to stand there or or to be there in this integrated stage right so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful guys thank you